I know people always have questions about a setup and, and everybody's always wanting to start their own farm. I remember when I first started, I was so upset that I didn't have a lot of resources online to show me like, how do you make a goat area and how do you feed them and how do you milk them? What's going on? So I'm gonna show you really quick. This is our back porch, you guys know that, you've seen that before. Over here, we've got the goat area. Now we used to have our goat area all the way. You see that little shade structure in the very back? We used to have our goats back there. Initially when I had goats, I thought, oh, I'm gonna want them the furthest away because um, they stink and they're loud. Turns out, no. <laughs> They're gonna be an animal that you visit often, so you want them closer to the house because just think about even when one is about to have babies. We had our goats back there and I had to actually sleep in a sleeping bag out in the middle of the pen because I knew one was about to deliver. So, we decided to bring them up here for now. This isn't as big of area as I'd like them to have, although if you were to look up the like requirements of a goat, uh, they could be in half this area, but I always like to give them more area. If you're planning your farm, here's what I think is the best. It's probably the best. I would put, I would have like, you know, wherever you come out into your backyard, I wouldn't do like a square. I would do a long rectangle for a goat area. So probably shouldn't have put my guard in here. I probably should have went all the way down around this tree for shade and gone down all the way there and would have had this really long pasture for my goats and I would have had the housing right here so and the milking station so I could walk right out from my backyard over here to the milking station and then have this long area if I was to do it all over again that's what I'd probably do and then I'd probably put my garden actually right here in the middle right where those chickens are because then I'd have morning sun afternoon shade which is perfect for Arizona so I mean you live and learn you know that all these different things you should have done but oh well it wills when you're raising goats all you really need is a kind of a pasture area they're gonna really just relax and sit around during the day so this is this goat area is about 2,000 square feet it's right off the front yard here right off the side of the house. They've got this area here. They've got a feeder. So you're gonna to wanna to have two different kinds of feeders for goats. You're gonna have one that is gonna be just for their hay, which is probably gonna be an alfalfa blend. And then you're gonna want another one that's going to be for some pellets. Pellets are a great way for them to kind of bulk up on that nutrition. Those are both free choice, which means they eat that as much as they want throughout the day. When you're raising goats, it's really important that goats have minerals. When you're raising any animal at all, they need to have minerals. It makes them healthier, it makes them have better fertility. So minerals are really key when you have goats. So we have that. Then, of course we have some water here and we have a milking stand. They'll walk up this ramp. Now we used to just, we made this ramp because we got a bigger goat. Story of this milking stand is I paid a guy to weld this I made him make it hot pink <laughs> because it's that's what I wanted. And most of my goats can hop up there. They can just jump up, hop up to the stand, and I we go ahead and milk while they eat on that little feeder. So that's that's really important to have that. This right here will just lock in for them. So just go like this, and I grab this and I put it in one of these holes, and there you go. And then this little feeder just attaches to it. Now we got a Nubian goat, and when we got that Nubian goat, we realized that she wouldn't jump up as much, so we had to build this kind of ramp. As far as fencing is concerned, you really, um, when I first got goats, I was told, oh, they're escape artists, so you've got to get, you've got to get fences that, that are six feet high, or they'll escape, and so that's what we did. We built these really high fences, and then we realized no, they're not really escape artists unless you give them the opportunity. So if we were to build this fence right here out of pallets or out of wood and they had a place to kind of jump up on, then they can jump over it. But because this is wire, there's nothing that they can get leverage on to hop over it. So even this 
This uh, Nigerian right here can't get over it. These sheep can't get over it. That Nubian back there can't get over it. And this is a three foot high fence. Not very high at all. That duck is in love with Luna. Look at that. One thing that I'll hear people say a lot of is that they'll say, um, my goat is crying to get out. And so I feel really bad that she's in this cage and she wants to get out or, or something like that. And um, here's the thing about goats. The grass is always greener. So the second you let them out, they're gonna be crying to go back in. And you'll be like, what's wrong with my goat? What should I, what should I do? Trust me, just leave them in there. As long as they have a buddy, they will be fine. That's one thing you do need to know about goats is that goats do need to have buddies. They need to have a friend, they're a herd animal. So they're not gonna be happy. You cannot get just one goat. Sorry, just tell, you know, just tell your significant other you've gotta get a couple goats. Danelle told you to, so you don't have a choice.